Nigga, just, oh, you said keep talking. Why don't you just shut up? This nigga left me by myself. I didn't leave you, nigga. What are you doing? Nigga, do you have, did somebody leave you in your life? Yes. I have abandonment issues. <laughs> you you abandoned me. You leave me by myself. You don't say you just leave this shit. No, I'm trying to fix my camera. It's out of focus. It look fine. Not on the YouTube. It ain't going to make you pretty, nigga. Just oh, my God, nigga. It looks <laughs> fine. Just, no, just continue with the story. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs>
You voted for Trump, bitch. That's it. That's all. That's the biggest problem you got because you don't vote for Trump like this. That's it. But the girl had she ended up getting a job at oh she got a job in DC at like some work for some center or some shit. But I'm like, and the girl was like, Yeah, well, my family owns a steel mill or whatever, do some steel shit. And you know, the stuff Trump did helped them out. Oh like, yeah. She was like, ah, well, okay. I ain't got a problem with it. I, mean, I don't understand not talking to somebody, not being somebody mm-hmm. friend because of who they voted for. Right? I mean, I'm I'm, I'm an independent. Move. But I mean, listen, if I get that, listen, let me say something. If I had no morals, I'd be invested in uh, prisons. <laughs> I mean, but if you got a 401k, it's more than likely you invest in prisons. Because when you look at like your 401k or the S&P 500, depending on what you invested in, but a lot of times there's prison stocks in there. I mean, it's, it's got a mutual fund. It is what it is. Man. Don't, know what you do. don't go to prison. Don't worry about it. I think my money under my mattress. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Oh, hold something. Let me hold something. No. Got you. Oh, then one man. There was this one other dude. He Uh-oh. was on there. There's one other dude. So when they, they asked him why he go, he goes to this girl, but he goes to like three different women. Because what happened was so, I guess to track down the guy, they go on his Instagram and all this shit. So they find out like all these other women he dated. So he he ghosted each woman. So they actually had all three or four women in the room. And they were all talking about their experiences. And he did the same, treated all of them the same way. So, well, he's consistent. Shout out to him. And then, surprise, he ended it out of nowhere for no reason. Gone, never saw him again. Well, just, so, when they asked him about it, he was like, Yeah, I did. He said, Because y'all, y'all, he said, Because y'all crazy. He said, Y'all tear up shit. He said, Sometimes it's just easier to just walk away from people than to go through it because he gets get to argue, people tear up shit, slash tires. I was like, mm, Okay, bro. I, I, I imagine about that one. I get it. So, um, oh, okay. Probably won't check out that show, but if you want to, it's on MTV. I don't know MTV is on. I watch no Paramount Plus or some shit. Oh, you got that? I mean, technically. Uh, <laughs> I mean, now, it's funny you mentioned that because I watched uh, Beavis and Butthead do the universe. How was that? It's Beavis and Butthead, but I've always, I don't know why, but I've always, ent- I was always entertained by them too. I don't think I ever really watched it. I mean, it ain't something that you need to sit down and be like, oh, Beavis and Butthead on. But it was funny. They were saying, not like, it wasn't like a top 10, but it was like, it was like something on, like Blooper on YouTube. Uh-huh. So I think it's Beavis or Butthead. I don't remember which one. But he was into fire. He was like a pyromaniac. <laughs> fire, 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 fire. <laughs> So he'd be like, ah. So apparently, back in 93, a redneck family, a mother, a son, and a daughter, the son burned the house, burned the trailer, trailer park down. Sadly, the daughter died. Uh-huh. And the mother and the son got out. The mother said that it was because of Beavis and Butthead show. So MTV, you know, apologized. They probably got paid out for it. Mm. And um, MTV went back and took out all those episodes with the fire uh-huh. and, and you know cleaned it all up. And then it's not, I'm not laughing at the situation, I'm laughing about the, the punchline. It was uh-huh. 20 years later, the son came out and said, What? Man, we would pull white trash in 93. We had no cable. I don't even oh. know what Beavis and Butthead was. <laughs> I was like, Oh, and he said his mother was a drug addict. Oh. <laughs> So you, I was like, was damn. Five, like a crack pipe or something? Yeah, um, I watched that. Oh, I watched Emergency on uh, Amazon Prime. Yeah, I watched that. Did you like it? I thought it was all right. Yeah, I, I got, you know what? I watched it when it first came out. I, I had a couple of issues with it, but. Well, I don't what's the issue? We can go into it real quick. Just I don't quick. really remember it, though. I, but you should, if, you told, if you told me we were going to talk about it, I would have rewatched it. Nah, I, like I mean, I didn't plan on, but I didn't know. Honestly, I didn't know you watched it either. Okay, but I, I felt watched, like I asked you to watch it a while ago, and I, then, and I did watch it a while ago. You didn't watch it a while. Ago. I, did, I probably did. Yeah, because you said you just watched it. <laughs> I watched it the weekend it came out. So okay, so I don't know who I didn't want to look up the writer or the director of it because it would have mm. kind of made me mad, and mm. it would kind of like not made my argument better 
So I, I don't know if it was a, a white writer and a white director or a black director and a black writer. Mm. But I enjoyed the movie because how they implemented racism, mm. how it was how it was talked about, it wasn't overdone. You know, some black movies they just blatantly tell you racism. Like, right. nah, it's, it's not supposed to work that way. Just let it happen in the movie. Like I remember on the shy, on I didn't uh not this season, I think it was last season. I stopped watching for, for many reasons. But anyway, right. <laughs> for many reasons. But they had an episode when it was kind of like the kid, the police brutality, and it was it was blatant, like, bruh, y'all don't have to do it this way. I get it. It was police brutality. Y'all want to post a video, but y'all are making it too obvious. Like, just just talk about it or you know. Have a, have a conversation, but you over here just racism. <laughs> like, you know, like, oh, uh, uh, what's the drink? What's the drink? Uh, don't be a menace. Like, message. It was kind what? of like, what? I remember, what? uh, uh, don't be a menace. Oh, if you, I ain't watching shit, but right? do you remember the part where Keenan Ivan Rand would always be like, message? <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> no, I'll put it in the meat part of the show. Yeah. I guess even though we were free, we were still slaves. In the mind. Message. But that's how I felt with black movies. They would just have a message and basically just be like message at the end. Oh. But what I, I think I I think I really enjoyed that. It was probably one of the best movies I've seen is your next Top Gun. Hmm. Um, but Emergency was good. I saw Amazon. Oh, and I and I finished. Oh, I finished Tommy Show too. Power. I, I know you don't watch black shows. Like I don't that. Watch, I just, no, I, don't say that like I don't like black me. Why you sound like I don't like black people? I just don't watch power. <laughs> nigga. I get tired of watching the type. <laughs> no, I agree. Like, like the same show over and over again. Bro, I was watching it. I don't know who the showrunner is. Hmm. I don't know who edits this shit. But you ever watch a show and just random shit be happening for no yeah. re rhyme or reason? Hmm. One scene, it was like. Wait, how did this nigga even know this? <laughs> like, who Let's told him that? <laughs> like, there's a random cop that should be popping up. A dirty cop be popping up. Another cop found out he was on the payroll. He was like, you need to give me some money. And the the cop same was, cop or different cop? Different cop. It was oh. a white cop, the black crooked cop, and a white mm. Irish cop. The Irish cop told the black cop, yeah, I know you on, on Charlie's payroll, so you're going to give me 100000 how did this nigga find about find out about that? Like y'all not gonna explore that? Maybe they're gonna get into it later or something. I don't know. The season ended. <laughs> oh, well, maybe they're gonna do it next season. It's continuation. Right. I don't I, I I can't say no, I don't watch none of that shit. You watch Snowfall? No, nah, I never watched it. Okay. You don't watch black shows. Oh, nigga, I nah, watch Murder She Wrote. I'm old. <laughs> Matlock and shit like that. Uh, no, which I don't I don't watch that shit either. So what uh, uh, white shows? I mean, hey, why was these niggas in it? He <laughs> <laughs> was a criminal, but they in it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's uh let's go ahead and get into the um let's get into this uh Thor Love and Thunder. Uh did you like it? Hated it. I'll, um I I probably liked it. Oh, I liked it okay, but part of the reason I think you liked I liked it, I liked it. Yeah, I liked it okay. Sorry. I think part of the reason was because I read so much negative stuff about it until I went into it thinking it was gonna be absolutely horrible, and uh, it was it was okay. It wasn't horrible, but I don't think it was good. I don't. I wouldn't call it a good movie. This way too over the top. It seemed like they took Ragnarok and was like, "Oh, if they laughed at that, we'll do twice as many jokes. They'll laugh at this even more." So, remind me of uh, super bad movies. Remember, um, I can't remember his name. Uh, he does all those films like Super Bad for the old version. Oh, the uh, Jude, Jude, uh, Jude. He, he's the director of them, he produces them. Oh, I don't know. Well, no, nah, I was just saying the kind of like those movies. I remember I seen 40 year old version. And that was funny. Hmm. So they were like, oh, this worked. <laughs> Let's get 10 times worse in the movie. No, you know, no, you know what I would I would say is akin to the hangover movies. 
You ever the see, only you one see was good was the first one. Exactly. Like the first one was good. They seemed like the second one. They tried to do like they tried to do twice as much. They were trying to do more over the top stuff than the first one. And it made it was so much it was corny. And then three, like they tried to do the same thing with three and it made that even worse. It's not even trying to do too much. I like the first one, and even then that was it was okay. It wasn't that great. I haven't uh, seen that forever either. So but no, nah, I, I didn't so I remember I, I said when I saw the trailer, I could tell by the trailer that they were like, Oh, they they love Ragnarok because we made mm -hmm. up for the first two movies. Let's do it again, but 10 times funnier with less seriousness. Ragnarok worked because it was a balance. This movie didn't have a balance. Um, And I felt bad for Christian Bale because this scene, <laughs> like he was in it, but he wasn't in it. It was, it was, it had, it was like, wait a minute. He was like, this, this is the script. <laughs> I don't know if he talks like that, but... <laughs> Fucking accent that is. <laughs> oh, oh, this is better. I don't think this is a script. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, I thought I, like I guess I read a lot of stuff. I thought Kristen Bell. I thought his, his screen time was decent. I didn't. I didn't have an issue with it. it, was, it no, was but right. I'm not. It wasn't the issue. It was almost he seemed bored in it. It didn't seem. Think of like when you think of a villain. So the best part of the movie was when they were in the shadow round. That scene, probably when he was talking to the kids, uh -huh. and then he fought all three of them and got the axe back. That was probably the highlight of the movie. But check this shit out, though. That last part, that last third of the movie. You know, to me, it, it, the whole time I watched the last third, you know what it reminded me of? It's like I was watching Endgame. Oh no, nah, not at all. So check this out. Oh, so, you talking about the kids? Well, no, though. So no, well. So at the beginning of the movie, remember when Jane caught the hammer? Yeah. At the at the beginning, when she caught uh what was Mjolnir? The hammer. She yeah. did the same pose Captain America did when he caught Mjolnir, right? Oh, okay. The very first time. It, but then later on in the movie, so they had the three of them fighting. You had the three of them fighting uh the guard butcher, just like they did in the game. And then when he did the thing, we gave all the kids the powers. They started the whole thing when they started charging to like the two groups started charging towards each other, just like an end game. And then when the guard was about to stab throw it through the heart, James Hammer swung past him just like just oh, like it did uh Thanos. So I was I was like, it's like they're reusing some end game shit in this movie, like some of the same kind of like what they did with the black Adam. So we say with Black Adam, like they find shit and it's like they reusing. Other shit, yeah, they like they ran out of yeah. yeah. I mean, this movie just wasn't good, but I said that at the beginning when I first saw the trailer. When we did the trailer show mm -hmm. that they, they are they saw how funny the first one was, and they were like, Okay, let's do it 10 times more. And that suit, his suit looked like they ran out of money on production. Well, I like the first suit he had on. Remember the first suit he had on. Tell me when with the uh, Korg went, they were like in the when they went to go, where were they going? They went to the, 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 the first the, time I had a suit, he didn't have like the little chest pieces and shit on it. It was like most like fur up top, but it was black. Yeah, but then he had another suit after that. Yeah, the suit after that, it looked it looked yeah, it looked cheese as hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <I don't laughs> look like looked like a silo was next door. Hey, I bought yeah, using that suit. An Bar asylum. Silent movies. Oh. <laughs> Yo, hey, let me buy, buy that suit real quick. We ain't got no more money. Like it was just bad all around. Like there was nothing. The only highlight of the movie was when Christian Bale had his time on the scene. Like his parts were probably the best, and it, he didn't even seem like a great villain. Like I don't know much about God Butcher. Mm -hmm. That name alone sounded cool to me. Um. Christian Bale was a plus to me, but then, like, they were like, we need an army to beat him. I didn't see where they needed an army to beat him. Like, I didn't, I didn't get it. Well, well maybe because they meant he had it, but he, because he had an army, though. Because remember, that's why he, he, Thor had to give the kids his power. 
to help beat his arm, which I guess meant they meant. So why did with... Thor just give a bunch of other niggas their power Asgard? Like, oh, they had to go rescue. The... I don't know, nigga. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. You, you think maybe you're overthinking it? Uh, I mean, I already knew the movie was gonna be trash. I, I could. I already told you that. But uh, Thor, over all over, but his. But I think it's messed up that how do you go from Thor one and two? Like, okay, we fixed it. With Ragnarok to go back. To doing trash movies again. Because you well, because I think people, like you said, they they took what happened in Ragnarok and was like, let's amplify it. Let's make this movie. I guess I bro, I don't know. And I didn't I didn't like how they uh you know, I'm gonna get flack for this, but you know, I didn't I didn't get the whole the gay rock, the not not yeah. Dwayne Rock Johnson, but the core. Yeah. Korg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know. First of all, just the, just the idea that you make a rock, you give a rock sexuality to me. You know? Yeah, what the fuck did a rock become now? Is a rock yeah, non-binary? Yeah, like, how does like that work? Sexual rock. It just <laughs> bothers me. You know? I, I ain't never look at a rock. I'm like, damn, that rock thick as shit. <laughs> <laughs> when he told the story about like his dad and other, he, he's like my dad. He said my two dads. Something I was like, he said that in the movie. Yeah, he said when he was talking about how he was born, he said something like the two dads held hands over lava or some shit. Oh, and that's how he that's that. where he came from. And I was like, Oh, so maybe in there in the, in there, I guess maybe there's no not, female rocks. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, maybe they don't make female rocks. Maybe they only can make rocks by two gay two rocks. Two, two, I, I guess. <laughs> then at the end he had his other little him his, he had a boyfriend and shit. With a mustache. Yeah, I was like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, All right, man. Hey, whatever. You know. And Russell Crowe looks terrible. Yeah, well, I mean, Russell Crowe, he don't need to be ashamed of what he. Nah, he just looks like he has a drug problem. I thought he looked in uh, what's a movie made? <laughs> Unhinged. Unhinged, nigga. Did he? <laughs> he looks horrible. You know what a courtesy tap is, young man? Just ignore him. Sounds like this. It's light, it's friendly, it's just like you're trying to get somebody's attention. I didn't want to go too much of a deep dive into Thor. It just wasn't a good movie. It was trash. Um, it's, it, on a scale, on a, how would you rank it? Is it just at the bottom of the barrel? Bottom of the barrel for what? Marvel uh, movies? Yeah, I guess the Marvel. I guess you could do the, the MCU version. I mean, you know, as far as, I'll be honest. Everything in phase four so far, I'm not really a big fan of. Well, I gotta hold on because I gotta look up what is in phase four though. I think phase four started with black. Everything that happened after Endgame was phase four. Cause I thought that No Way Home was not part of phase four. Maybe that was phase three. I think I think No Way Home was phase four. Cause I read that they ended it with I thought that was just, I thought I thought Black Widow started phase four. But that makes no sense because that was a pre that was in between uh civil war and infinity wars like that happened after yeah, she but what happened at the but the the, the post credit scene took place after the post credit scene in black widow took place after endgame but i, I personally thought they should have just i personally think they could have they could have made black widow in between and then they could attack that post credit scene on some other some other movie. Oh, uh, about which one? The, uh, the post credit scene of Black Widow. I didn't you know. What? I cut it off at the end. And I or they could have, or they could have just put it at the end of um, Falcon and Winter Soldier too. That would have been fine. I'm still. I'm watching that. I just haven't finished. I finished. Yeah. I'm still on episode two after six months, but I'm I'm trying to get through it. Damn, man. what's not like? Uh, but so Marvel Spring. Uh, so apparently they're getting a bunch of criticized for Phase Four, but I already knew this was going to happen. Mm -hmm. I don't think they know what to do after, you know, Endgame. I think at this point, they're just dropping movies and they don't have any rhyme or reason. I think they have an end point. I think they know where they want to go. It's like, I think they're trying to work backwards and aren't sure how to do it. I think they know where they want to end up, but they're trying to, like, fill everything in in between. Um, you know what I mean? Well, so on the direct, uh, say MCU fans criticize Phase Four recent releases. 
Uh, Marvel Studios is bringing more content than ever before in Phase 4, with a dozen of projects have debuted in the theaters and on demand over the past 18 months alone. Even though many of the entries have yielded some incredible positive results, some MCU fans have criticized the longstanding series for increasing output compared to its, for its quality. So, you know, so they had WandaVision. They had, well, WandaVision is part of that. Oh, Internals, too. Well, I, I said everything after Black Widows. Black Widow started phase four. Yeah, but it doesn't seem like it's cohesive. Like, it doesn't seem like it's. Well, the, the post credit in Black Widow went right to Fal went right to um Hawkeye. Yeah, but those are TV shows I have to watch though. I don't want to watch that. I just want to watch well, the movie. What it, but they all connected though. Just like just like WandaVision is connected to Doctor Strange. But but I like I made this point before. I didn't have to see WandaVision to understand what happened in Doctor Strange. I already knew it was already written and written what was going on. She wanted yeah. kids, so she found a way to get the kids. They right. made a couple, you know, you know what they call that thing. Uh, you know what you always say. Anyway. Montages. Or? Nah, they made a couple of references. My bad, references sure. to Wandavision, but I didn't have to see Wandavision. Okay. But so you're telling me I now I have to watch TV shows to get it? No, they the but TV shows are part. You don't have to watch TV shows to get any of it, but it's part of it. Like if you just watched the movies, you would have got what happened in Eternals and any any of the movies you can get without watching TV shows. I the TV seen. shows just go a little more in detail. What's wrong with that? I don't want to watch TV. I don't want to fucking watch. Don't watch episodes. the fucking TV shows. What's the problem? But then I'm gonna be lost. So you're not lost. Just don't like, watch the TV shows. That's like that's like you them watch, if you didn't watch WandaVision, but you understood Doctor Strange. What are you talking about? Because you mentioned there was a post credit screen and post credit uh, screen in Black Widow that went no. to Hawkeye. But I never seen Hawkeye. What was it? What watch? Did you watch Black Widow? I don't. Yeah. Did you see the what it is? Did no. You, did you watch? Did you watch the post credit in Black Widow? No, because she dies. So okay. I well, that tell you what. This is what you do. Go watch the post credit. Screen. And I do this shit during the middle of the show. I pause this. Shit. I don't give, well, go watch. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I can't. But just tell me what that. happened. Why can't you tell? No, me? Is it know, a secret? If you, watch it, if you watch that, maybe you watch Hawkeye. I'm not gonna watch Hawkeye. I well, don't, don't, don't ask me what it is. It don't matter. It only matters if you watch Hawkeye. But now I do. So this is my point. You're it's not. Telling you me. have a point. I do. If you're not gonna watch Hawkeye. Point. Don't worry about Black Widow's post credit scene. Between Phase One, Two, and Three, I ain't had to watch shit but the movies. Now I gotta watch you TV still don't shows. Don't have to. What are you talking about? Because you. Why won't you tell me? Why? Okay. Are you are, are you gonna watch Hawkeye? Oh wait a minute. I did see what happened to post credit screen. Never mind. I remember what now. <laughs> I remember that. Never mind. That's right. I do remember. Never mind. I remember. Uh, yeah. <laughs> member edits? Member? Hey, hey, member Ghostbusters? Oh, I remember. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I actually do remember that. I don't know why I remember. Um, so they drop in. So they're dropping. So they're dropping. Uh, let's see. Uh, they're dropping a bunch of TV shows and movies, but it feels like they're dropping more TV shows than movies. Some of the Marvel stuff? Yeah. They were, I mean, but they're just getting back in the movie. They had COVID shit, so they changed shit around when COVID hit. Okay, here go the article. Uh, I'm gonna you gonna read the article? No, nah, nigga. The article about this? Okay, do, uh, you, tell me, do you tell me what's going on. I'll wait. It's nothing to tell you. What is it you okay. need to know? Now, just tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell you what? Tell me what's going on with Phase 4. What do you mean what's going on with Phase 4? I don't know, because I'm about to read the article, but you say you're about to read the article. Don't read, so not, don't read the article now. You should have read the article earlier. Okay. So we just did this thing. Yeah. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck do you want to talk about phase four for? Because I think it's important. Okay, well, go ahead. I, I, I'll just I don't want to read it no more. All right. Anyway. Um, <laughs> no, but I do think that they don't have anything cohesive. And what I mean is, if you look at one, two, and three, they had strong characters they had iron man captain america uh spider-man spider-man came late so i'm not gonna include him um then they had uh hulk even though hulk was like at the very beginning they still had him they had movies that were anticipated i don't see shit that's been anticipated that's because they haven't well i don't think movies i don't think people really anticipated shit until Maybe around uh, Iron Man when they start building the when, they, when they start well when the Thanos thing started to become 
when the people knew Thanos was gonna be a part of it, nah, I, I think people started to anticipate it. But before that, nobody really knew what the fuck was going. Well, you know what though? First Iron Man was started. They started to build up the Avengers. That's what I just said. Oh, that was I, I, okay. I'm saying so. I think the first build up was they're going to do the Avengers, and then they started. You know. <laughs> they just what said that. What? Thanos didn't come to ten years later. No, no, but no, but they were doing Thanos in a bunch of post credit scenes. Yeah, but nobody was but, like, like Thanos. Thanos, and I think the first Avengers post credit scene. Oh, all you saw was that that you only saw when he was in his Barney stage. But they were building up the threat, is what I'm saying. Yeah, but they were building up each movie. I feel like they were building on Thanos was the cherry on the top, but they were still building enough to was like, even if I can wait for Thanos. Well, I, think I, think, I just think the anticipation of... was so good that I don't think people was like, man, when Thanos, I don't think anybody was like, yo, when Thanos coming, when Thanos coming. Well, but there weren't that many good movies, really. It wasn't, but at least they were interesting. This phase doesn't need, is not start off interesting. What I mean, okay. I don't want that anyway. No, the buildup was good, though, because each movie built on each one. Right. These movies aren't building on shit. Well, they may be, though. No, nah, because it's, it's, like, it's just like the Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, I didn't like them until everything was almost over, like, until they got to, like, Family Infinity War, and then I, or what was it? Endgame. Then I went back and watched, and I was like, oh, "Okay." Then I understand how all the dots were connected. So it could but be a it, thing where if you go back, I see what they're building, but it's not that interesting. They're doing like the Celestials and all that type of shit. They're gonna start doing like Adam Warlock, and they're gonna talk, they're gonna start doing a bunch of shit. But if you're not in the comics, it's not a big deal. It's, it's boring. But then that's bad because I wasn't in the comics, but the build up from the first one in the phase one, two, and three was good enough where I didn't need to watch the comics. Uh, yeah. And also, Avengers, not Avengers, uh, what's the drink you just mentioned? Um, Guardians. Guardians, you still had to watch it because they had that stone in it. Yeah, they, they won the Infinity Stone. They yeah, so I don't know. And because, uh, because I think, uh, King, what's the name? King Kang, what's his name? Who? <laughs> the, the new villain they bring. Why you take some notes? Kang, come with Kang the Conqueror. Okay, I was close. Kang. I forgot his first name. King Kang, nigga. King Kang. I like that name better. Yeah, I like that name better. He's in it, but he's in Loki. I don't want to watch Loki. But it don't, okay, but it don't watch fucking Loki. But I want to. <laughs> they wait, they wait for the fucking movie to come out. Well, the movies haven't been good enough, though. That's my point. Well, don't watch the movies then. What my point is, how, why are they going all around, you know, the merry-go-round? They're not they, making movies just for you. You understand but, it, right? But at the beginning, they were. Not for just people for people like me. They were making movies. You know what it seemed like they're doing? They had peas in the comic book fanboys. Because okay. initially, Ooh, they man. weren't. Now they seem like they are. Like who don't gives a shit about Moon Knight? I think they can't sleep. As long as they're making money, they don't really they don't really care if you don't watch. They Nigga, still make some, money. Take they some don't care if I don't watch. Take they some ibuprofen PM if you they can't what? sleep. Moon Knight. Take some cool <laughs> fucking movie. <laughs> take some Night Quill, nigga, if you can't sleep. I'm complaining. They can just go watch something else. Go watch the first fight or some shit. Go watch Ghost. How about that? <laughs> Sir, Ghost is dead. I'm gonna need you to stay. stay. <laughs> I said ghosting the shit I was watching. In DVD. Man, I'm not watching that shit. This shit ain't even real. Like, why would you? <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, sticking to sticking to uh, uh, Avengers. What are you down there doing? I'm going to the next topic, nigga. Oh, why are you okay? What, what do you want? To, what do you want? A tablet? Yeah, man. You keep looking down and shit. You must have some new wave shit over there. <laughs> Won't you just? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see where this show going. going. What you what you want to talk about? Look. No, nah, what whatever. Whatever. What you want to talk about? Okay, whatever. you done? You done? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be you know, I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna let you host. We be quiet. Shit. You promise? Yep, I, I promise. All right. Anyway, Marvel Selects Julian Oha as Captain America for director. Do you know who that is? Nope. Uh, oh well, he's a black director. Well, he's Nigerian, he's an FBA. Um so he <laughs> he did uh he directed Cloverfield um Paradox. Did you see that? Oh no, I haven't seen that. I heard it was pretty good though. Yeah, he um he graduated from NYU Film School. Oh, okay. But uh he's directing it. 
Um, so Anthony Mack is going to lead the next installment of Captain America franchise, and the project is reportedly already found its director. Um, they don't have much. So one of the main plot lines for the Falcon Winter Soldier was Sam Wilson reluctantly takes up the mantle of Captain America after Steve Rogers gave it up. Uh, they don't have much details about it, but uh, Falcon Winter Soldier, what are they? I just that's why I said. Are you I'm listening? Why well, you said that's the plot of the that's it, the main Wars. plot line in 2021. Well, you already did that in Captain America and Winter Soldier. You already took up the man. They had a white costume and everything with the shield. I'm 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 literally reading you. Okay, do you know how remember the remember the conversation that happened two minutes ago? If you don't watch the shows, you won't know. So now you're assuming people are watching the show. I thought you watched it. What? No, I did not watch it. I what watched watch two the episodes. Captain America the Winter I watched two episodes. And at the two episodes, there was some goofy little white boy with a broken nose that had. This came on like a year ago. I don't give a fuck when it came on. I ain't watching. It was a year ago. You ain't finished watching yet? Jesus Christ. The cable off? What happened? You need a password? <laughs> My, it was called <laughs> Disney X, and they took it off the fire stick. <laughs> The problem. Anyway, so it doesn't look like we'll be hitting the theaters in 2024. I hope he can hold it down. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't see like his suit looks trash. I think this is the suit you're talking your white about. Your white suit, your white, yeah. no ugly shit. <laughs> and, and, them, and, them, and them glasses. That, that, that suit's ugly. As fuck. They should have kept the suit he had or something. That white suit looks terrible. Um, he like a he like a uh, uh, he like one of <laughs> like a cross dresser. <laughs> Jesus, where they bullshit? Uh, I don't think he. I don't even. I don't. You know, I'm going to. I'll. I will go see him. Uh, but I don't. I don't. I hope they don't do him dirty. I think, but I think they'll have other characters in it. So I think it won't be. Well, see, you know. that's what I'm saying. I don't want. I think if he's going to hold it, down, well, I, I don't want it to be a Black Panther. The issue I had with Black Panther was Black Panther needed people. He he needed all them hoes. I mean, all them girls behind him. It holds. I no. You start to say hope. <laughs> no, I didn't. He needed all the people it. behind him. So I don't hope that, you know what it is. I didn't see Winter Soldier, so maybe I'll watch it. You know, Wonder what? I didn't see Falcon Winter Soldier, but I hope. Oh. But I hope it was one, one of those things where he needs somebody. Like he could just hold, you know, hold it. Well, him and the Winter Soldier they were like buddies. I mean, they were like teaming up to do some shit. Yeah, but you have a lot of opinion on shit you haven't watched. I noticed that. So you're saying Probably. basically I have for me to understand the movie that's gonna come out, I gotta watch TV show. I'm just saying if you don't understand the TV show you talk about, you may, I mean maybe it might help. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying though. It's like I think WandaVision, I think Doctor Strange is better if you watch WandaVision. Or at least you understand. I, I disagree. I, I wasn't lost in that movie. Okay, but I think it's some shit in there you probably may have missed. Like what? Give me an example. No, nah, nigga, I'm not no, nah, I'm not going into that right now. You no, got glasses exactly. over there. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so no, I drink. I try to drink a gallon of water. People get your get your water in, and you I need to know drink glass. It. You put it right the glass, though. <laughs> I know, but it look. But I, you know, I'm on D ball right now, so you know, I got I got to drink a lot of water. I'm missing two of my meals. Okay, we can't get them putting the dress on. So we'll make them fuck a dude <laughs> virtually. Uh, I don't know, bro. That's some that, weird shit. That's. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. That's pretty unfortunate. Anyway, yeah, so that's coming out probably. I think it's coming out. Well, they already pushed back Blade. So if I was a well, bed man, this movie, uh, they didn't really give details. But if I was a bed man, this is not coming out to 2025. We pushed Black, Black Blade. I mean, if we want to just watch the first two. They, they were better anyway. Um, Up next. Uh, moving past, what well, is still under Disney, but uh, uh, Avatar um, may not be direct. Uh, camera may not be directing four and five of Avatar. He may have not even made four and five. He ain't gonna direct them. Well, he'll course gonna be involved. That's his baby. But every time he let somebody else direct it, it come out like some bullshit. Come out like yeah. That. That's what I was about to mention. I was like, if oh, yeah. I was the man, I would not fuck with Cameron. He just don't. Nah. It's almost as if you know. It's like I let you do it. Hey, don't do that. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, 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 w
Because he just said saying it was a lot better. He said what he wanted to do versus Cameron wanted to do. It was two totally different movies. I believe, I believe. Uh, to an extent. I mean, it was for the most part the same, but it was like he wouldn't let him do shit. Uh, he kept touching shit. And he just he didn't like he said I think he said I thought it was a decent movie. I, mean, I, I like it for what it was. I mean, it was... Um, but at some point you keep dropping movies just like any other movie. And people aren't going to keep saying it. I I do think it was a good follow up because I think it, it finished with Behind T two. I think so. Yeah, I think they ignored. Actually, I like T three though. I did like T three. T three was good. But that T the the last two I thought. I, uh... Genesis was, I, I thought Genesis was absolutely trash. I thought the action scenes were good. In Genesis? Yeah. I didn't like anything in Genesis. Now I like Rise of Machines. Rise of Machines. That was with Christian Bale. Yeah. I like some of that. And I like the action scenes in that. I like, I kind of like the story in that. But I maybe um, I got to, maybe I got to watch what's name again. Cause I, I didn't, I don't remember liking anything. Well, yeah, no, nah, don't watch it. Um, yes. but you know what? You probably would have liked it. Like, remember you told me that podcast that you talked about said that since he didn't see the trailer, uh -huh. he, um, since you didn't see the trailer when he found out John Connor was, uh, but John Connor was bad. He said yeah. it was good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It could have been, it. that could have been a deal. You're right. But so he's directing. The, so the next one comes out, Avatar 2, which. I mean, I'm not that excited for it. I, I haven't seen anything worth seeing that makes me want to go see it. Comes out this year. I thought he directed all of them at the same time. At least that's what I was getting the vibe from that he was. Yeah, that's what I heard. I heard it was going. To I thought he was. Day. That's why it took so long for him to come out. But I guess that wasn't the case. Yeah, I saw the trailer um, for it today. It was a. Uh, hey. It's a new trailer. I don't know. It was in front of um, Thor. So maybe it is. Uh, oh, you know, I miss all the trailers. We, we got there late. It was, it was like, eh, it looks okay. But the first Avatar, I wasn't, I didn't really want to see it. You know, my kids, she wanted to see it. So I went and I really enjoyed it. So could be one of those. You know? Um, He did say that, I'm just summing up basically, is the audience still there for Avatar? And that's actually, uh, I think I said that. Because it took what that move came out 10 years ago, and he's been working on it to build the technology for more than 10. What did it come out? It couldn't come out no later than no, I think it was before that. I think it came out way before that. I thought it was like 2008 for some reason. Nah, was it that late? You know, you're probably right. I do remember going seeing it. That was all old. Um, you're probably right. Oh, 2009. Damn, that shit well yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. Nine, two, like 13 years ago. Yeah, most of the people that saw they got kids and them niggas and their kids yeah. and the college kids, and shit. Man. Oh, shit, I'm about to fuck up. What um, you doing? No, 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 no. I don't know if the audience is still there anymore. Um, it's kind of like Star Wars. Each Star Wars they kept dropping just wasn't doing that well because either they were just tired of it. But it's, they still, I think all the Star Wars movies still did kind of well. If you got old niggas like me who Still nostalgic, even though I really, to be honest, I really like them any of the new ones, but I kept going hoping it would be better. But that's a cult base, though. I don't think Avatar yeah. has that cult base. Yeah. It's kind of like, well, you don't watch Dragon Ball, but they have I, the new I cartoon, they have a cartoon coming out. I'm gonna go see it in August. Oh, what you gonna see a goddamn cartoon? What you gonna see a cartoon at the movies? Okay. Grown yeah, as fuck. What are you watching cartoons? Movies for? Grown. You got kids? <laughs> what the fuck? You'll be a grown ass man by yourself and instead of watching cartoons. I, I bet you there'll be nobody's kids be able to sit next to you. Shit. Well, I hope they don't. <laughs> like little Bobby, I right, come sit over here, sit on my lap. It's okay. I'm talking about their parent will tell them get I don't the fuck know away. Where this is going, so we're just gonna move on. You're a grown ass <laughs> man so in the to watch cartoons with bunch of fucking kids. Don't be shame yourself. Damn, this movie costs two hundred fifty million dollars to make. So that means this movie. What did? Uh, Avatar two. Oh wow! Well, and that's not including promotion and shit. James Cameron, though, they can get away with shit like that. Yeah, <laughs> you know when you when you up there, you can do what the fuck you want. Hey, you let, me get, uh, let me get a let me get half a meal. Let me get let me get a half a bill. I think he financed a lot of shit himself though. Uh, through his company, like his own production company. Yeah, I, I think other company get distribution. I think it's under Disney though. It probably yeah, with Fox is now, so yeah. Oh, that's right. This was under Fox. Yeah. But yeah, so 
I mean, I'll probably go see it, but I'm not. I'm not looking to see. I don't know what. I'm not expecting to be wild by it. I wasn't wild by the first one. Why? Anyway, moving on. Uh, did you 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 love Heat, right? With uh, Robert De Niro and oh yeah, that's my shit. So I uh yeah, but directed by Michael Mann. So they're trying to bring Heat to a sequel. Uh, do a sequel to the excuse me to the screen. Hmm. Um, he plans to uh adapt Heat Two, which is a novel. I don't know if the first one was a book, but if the second one, if they have a Heat Two, which is a novel, I'm assuming there's a Heat One that was a book. Just hmm. using my using my thinking cap. Um, I don't, I don't know what the book will be about, but I don't see how this will work just because of how great the first one was. Mm-hmm. Heat 2 is probably one of the best heist movies I've ever seen. The Heat the, 2? The Heat. Okay. Was probably one of the best, if not the best heist movies I've ever seen. I think everything aligned correctly, um, especially with the villain, the antagonist and the protagonist, the ending. I absolutely love the ending. Like, I love the ending just because of I'm a nigga that holds grudges. And that would be me. <laughs> like, I could get away. What, which part of the ending you talked about? When uh, Robert De Niro was like, just go ahead. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. But I got to handle this nigga real quick. Okay, I know what you're saying. That would be me because I'm yeah. that type of nigga. Yeah. I got to get this thing. I can't let this Before thing. I roll, I got to take care I got to handle this. He got away scot-free. He was like, let me handle this nigga. Because typically the bad guy typically doesn't win at the end. But he could have won. And that's not the end that I was expecting. I thought when because I saw it as a kid, so I'm just thinking it'll be a shootout. But I'm not really interested in, and I feel like Michael Mann ain't got much else to do. But have, have really you seen had, a, Have you seen the original version though? Yeah, 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 yeah. Director's cut. No, 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 no. So there's a movie called oh! LA Takedown. You seen that? Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't watch. It. I wasn't gonna watch that. No, you got. But you gotta watch it though, because you gotta see. You gotta just the comparison between the two. I so, think from what from what either we talked about or I read online or so they did on LA, YouTube. So what happened I, was LA Takedown was so uh Michael Mann did a he did like an NBC TV movie called LA Takedown, which was basically that was basically his outline of heat, but he couldn't get the money to make heat. So he did a TV movie called LA Takedown. So a lot of the scenes in Heat are in LA Takedown, just a lower budget version of them but when you see the shootout like the you can see how the shootout in la takedown is the uh is the prototype for it's basically what he uses for you know heat it's just not the budget wasn't as big with it it's pretty good to watch just to do like a comparison between what they did in heat and what they did in la takedown I mean, LA take now without commercial on TV was like two hours without commercials, probably. Yeah, he was almost what two hours and minutes. 30 minutes? Yeah, he was like two hours and some change. Yeah, two. So I mean, it's a different movie, but it's the same movie. You know what I mean? It's just to see, you know, the what, what they did. It's pretty good. Though. I mean, I, I liked it for what it was. It's, especially that bank shootout. I love that bank shootout. I love that bank shootout. Even Hello. If look, even if you just go online and look at the bank shootout part from LA Takedown. I like what Wild Deer said, Don't be here. This is not your money. Your money is yeah. insured. <laughs> yeah, Basically, <laughs> don't worry nobody. Uh no in the shit. town. I love that heist movie too. That that's oh funny. yeah. That was my shit. Uh now I did actually read that book because it was called Print. Yeah, it was called Prince you Prince read? of Thieves. You read for real? I read sometimes. I read out of here. I didn't know. Sometimes I had no idea. Um Next up, um, now I thought he was he was retired, so I'm very curious to see how many movies, how many other movies this nigga got Ooh. in the bank. Your Bruce Willis. Oh, we're not going to. Come on, don't do it. Oh, this one's going in the theaters and on demand. It's impossible. What? It's called. Uh, it's called. Oh. What is the movie called? Oh. A wrong place. Starring as a police chief is is. Starring as the police chief is oh god, what website is this? Okay, I'll go. Uh, he stars as a police chief and rounded out cast with a bunch of nobodies. The story is Frank Willis. Then nigga, how many can we Google how many times Willis? His first name is Frank. But his last name Willis. Yeah. How many times has his name been Frank in the movie? 
I'm very curious to see how many times this nigga name. What? A full police chief of a small town finds himself being hunted down by a meth kingpin seeking to silence him before he can deliver eyewitness testimony against his family, but ultimately finds himself up against more than he bargained for when he threatens to harm Frank's daughter. Why is last name Willis, though? That's how he can remember. Like, what? Why do they do that? <laughs> what? So, oh, so, I'm so he can remember. No, I'm just out there. What is this the disease? I'm not even trying to be funny. Do you know what this the disease is? I can't think of the name of it. But you know, you know who they used to do that to? You look up Tony, you know, Tony Dancer? Yeah. You know, if you look at most of his roles, his name was Tony. Because <laughs> they thought he wouldn't remember. <laughs> well, he, he got uh he got um like memory issues or something? No, I think uh, the story I heard was when he was doing taxi, I think the guy's name was supposed to be like Brian and some shit. But they, they changed the name to Tony because he thought he wasn't smart enough to remember Jesus. his name in his the, script. What's the nigga name from uh they changed his name? What's his name from, they made uh, up so a lot of his roles, his name was Tony. <laughs> Tony Dan, yeah. Uh what's his name? Oh, there's a dude, and they said oh, every movie he's been in. He's got the same name. Yeah, his name is Hector. He was one of the dudes, man. You gonna look the shit up now? No, oh, no. Well, you were talking. I just had it like this. It was, nigga, if, it, if it was silent in the morning, you thirty seconds. Be quiet because I because I. I you were talking. I, like I, I literally had it pulled me. up. I had it pulled up, and I was like, "You gonna look it up, nigga? I have it right here." His name was Noel. Tony, you make me nervous. His name was Noel Galalima. You can't even pronounce my fucking name. His name was Hector. Somebody said that his name was Hector in at least the majority of his movies. Yeah, well, Hector. Said you remember what his name is. Hector. I think it was him. What was that? Hector. Anyway. Yeah, so, you know, uh, Bruce Willis has some type of disease, but they say it's affecting his family. I don't know what his disease is. I think it's a it's a type of, like, cognition, cognitive issue. So... You know, his wife got to take care of me at the retirement. Hey, shit happens. Uh, he has something called uh, paradise. Uh, wait, no, no. Status. Allegedly struggled. Oh, he can't remember lines. Allegedly struggled to remember lines. Uh, fire prop got on wrong cue while make while making final films. Oh, he has more films coming out. Oh, yeah, he got more. <laughs> Yeah, it said while wow, making final films. Okay, so they say he had to wear earpiece too. Somebody had to like feed him his lines. Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, who knows? Damn. Well, you know, I, I just even though he was pretty much the same character in all his movies, he's still a great actor. Oh, speaking of actors, uh, recipes James Kane. Con. It's Con. I don't know why I call him Kane. I don't either. James Kahn. Uh, he was in uh, Goodfellas, one of them. I don't know which one. Only Goodfellas. Not Goodfellas, Godfather. He was the Godfather. What is he? It was Sonny. Yeah. Sonny calling on. The Godfather. They did not mention cause of death, which is probably, be, uh, you don't need to. He was 82. I, I always say, it's only if that's 80. <laughs> I'm okay. I'll be okay. Get old, man. <laughs> like at the age, I really ain't trying to accomplish much. Yeah. Once you get a certain age, the cause of death really doesn't matter that much. Because I remember when uh, I don't know if I can say this on. I think I can say COVID now. You know, at one point you couldn't say COVID on YouTube. Why not? I thought I thought you just could talk about getting the facts. Well, I don't know. Whatever. I think at one point you just couldn't even mention COVID, but I think it's fine oh. now. But it was funny. Well, COVID wasn't funny. People were dying, but people were like. Um, he they like uh elderly people would die of COVID, and I was like, Did they die of COVID or did they die because they were old? Because that's two different yeah. things, <laughs> because they were up in numbers, like they were just up the numbers because you died, it was because of COVID. Like, yeah, COVID probably, like, if you have AIDS, <laughs> you got then you get diabetes, like. <laughs> What did you die of? <laughs> yeah, what did you die of? Like, are you trying to up boost up the AIDS numbers or the diabetes numbers? Uh, like, you know. 
All right, well. They're going to censor this shit. Any other movies coming out that you think of? We're going to do another trailer show. I think we should just do a trailer show and just be a bunch of bullshit trailers. There's some trailers I'm trying to get out the way, like uh, The Rise of Wakanda. <laughs> well, you know some controversy with that trailer. But well, there's some controversy with that movie. Uh, what was going on with it? Well, they said that the the group of the group of warriors in that movie they actually sold they actually were fighting to protect their slave trade, so they traded slaves. And they were oh well, yeah, well, 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 you know, like, like we we and you know, I, I'm not a history buff, but I do know that, we know that even history. before the white man came over to Africa, slavery has been going on for that's been a multi well at the time million dollar business. Before they even came, they just saw how much money they were making over there and just decided to bring them over to America. But oh. slavery was going on for that doesn't, I mean, that doesn't, hell, that doesn't surprise me at all. Oh. Did you, you ever heard of a, a, a Derby's Dose? I think that's what it's called. What? Get, it's called Derby. So it was a form of torture. It was a form of torture, I think, in Jamaica. Okay. Where they would open their mouths uh -huh. and they would shit in it. Yeah. This whole Derby's what jail was that in? Yeah. Oh, I mean, God. it was part of it was part of slavery. Oh, okay. But anyway, uh, uh, oh, um, only hour in. We can get a little bit more into it. Uh, did you see? Uh, you saw UFC, right? Uh, no, last night. No, I didn't watch. It. No, no, last time. My bad. Last week. Uh, yeah, I watched it. Uh, I only care about the main two fights. Um, Max Holloway versus I can't Alexander. Volkanovski, uh, right? Volkanovski, and then um, Volkanovski. Okay, you, you know you ain't got to scream at me. I ain't your bitch. Different divisions too. So. We only went through two though. I thought yeah, he fought he the heavyweight once or twice, didn't he? It wasn't in the UFC. Okay, maybe he just fought his light. Well, I know he fought his light heavyweight. Well, because he fought Forrest Griffin in was it Stephen yeah. Bonner? Yeah, so he fought. He fought in different divisions. So when we fight in different divisions, you know, I, I think that's some of the things that give you ghost status when you move around a lot. I said the problem with Adesanya is he can't put on. I don't think he's. I don't think his body. I think he's so in shape, he and his metabolism is so good. He can't put on weight. Yeah, like he should have never taken that fight if he could not put on weight. He may have to pull a John Jones and step away from the sport for two years, or like a year just to put on weight because but carrying that much weight sometimes is a problem with guys. Because I mean, you you start putting on weight, you start moving slower. I could actually see him go down to welterweight and have Usman go up to middleweight. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, but at that point, they'll still be fighting the same guy. So, uh, and he's supposed to fight uh, his uh, rival. Um, I bet this fight gonna happen in December. I think that's gonna be his toughest test. His name is uh, Alex Perez. Uh, Perez. I I'm think that's gonna be his toughest test. Uh, Likely. Likely. This is going to be his toughest test. Shout out to all the people in the chat. Shout out to y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Hope you like, well, you most likely like, like, subscribe. Uh, <laughs> I'm assuming they are. I have a feeling I know they are. <laughs> um, all right, let's go into some ratchery. Rat what the fuck is ratchery? Oh, man. Uh, you sent me a couple videos. Um, the next day. What's what we're looking at for? The first one was back the bumper. <laughs> so stop what, so this, you. what is this some rat? This is some regular ratchet. This is some regular rat. I, I don't even know the story behind this except for what they posted, but it's probably on TikTok. Shit. Yeah. This is regular ratchet shit. Uh hey, did anybody in the chat go to the cookout? They know what I'm talking about. The cookout, Nick. <laughs> they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the cookout? <laughs> they know what I'm talking about. Apparently, it's at his house. Uh anyway. <laughs> Uh, your baby mama put you out, so you take back the bumper you got, you brought her. Pav, your baby mama put you out, so you take back the bumper you bought her. Uh, this thing's leg. <laughs> Take the bumper. What happened to his leg? <laughs> oh, he got, a, he got a boot on. He got a boot on. He, he literally taking a bumper off. <laughs> Nigga. Is he wrong for that? Hold on, he's saying something. I'm 
What the hell? He took, he took the bucket. I hope he got a car, though. I hope he got a car. He, he took it with him. Well, we it's his raining car outside. Is. Like, it's raining outside. She put him on. He took the bumper. <laughs> can you drive around with a bump without a bumper? Yeah, you can do yeah, You can drive without it. <laughs> Nigga, that is a new line of pettiness right there. Where you just like, is it, is it you can't. No, nah, what I mean is, you look around the house and be like, what can I take? You know what, bitch? Take it back, your, take it back that bumper. <laughs> Well, but you know what though? But she would take it. But you know, women do that. They take your PlayStation, all that old shit back, cut up your clothes, or take the bump off the bitch. What's wrong with that? Took back a bump. I'm, I'm okay with taking the bump off, especially I if he mean, paid for it. I'd rather take back the wheels. I mean, but he ain't got you got to you know how much work it is to take off wheels. Plus, you got a bad foot. You got to jack the thing up. You got to undo the bolt, jack the thing up, all that shit. Plus, you can you can get it's probably easy to get new wheels. You can't pass inspection with the bump. How much no. wheels cost though? No. Yeah, well, it's probably easy to do that way. Just take them shits off and just roll with them. Why would you? do <laughs> well, what... Cause he petty. But this I would do probably... some shit like that. Though. But he ain't got a car though. Look like you know what? You just don't walk at all. <laughs> this nigga walk to the bus stop. <laughs> Get on the bus with that shit. <laughs> Take it over to mom's house. Shit. Nigga, that's hilarious. He said something to the cops. Earl, what did you, Earl, what did you bring in there for? Take them shit And the police watching them too. They letting them take. How many cops are there? You got two. Two cops. Why, why they watch them take it? They're like, I bought this motherfucker. I'm taking it with. I know it's at least three because I heard a female cop. It might be the girl. Well, I know I'm doing what you got, and I thank you, guys. I'm like, I'm from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> the bottom of my heart. Hey, you doing what you got to do. And the cops like, you know, sometimes, I, sometimes, I, sometimes I, would I, feel, take it. I don't feel bad for the cops. They be like, I, would, I gotta come I would out here for this it. stupid shit. I would take it. I got, I gotta really come out here for this stupid shit, like. Jesus. Well, she probably called him. Like, you and my boy, we out there taking the bump off the car. <laughs> I gotta go to work too. Whatever the fuck. So if you take the bump, like, how does that work with the police? Like, do you like? Can she be like, no, that's my bump? He be like, nah, that's my bump. I don't know. They didn't stop him, so apparently he he could take it. I don't know. Jesus. Ain't nobody out there stopping us. I don't know. <laughs> well, the bump. well, she was reporting it though, probably. Yeah. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? I had to do this. Hey, you know what I mean? Thank, thank you, officer. Show up to the Uber with the bumper on the bumper. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you can't put that in my car. <laughs> <laughs> you open your trunk for me, man. Yo, you know me for that nigga outside selling that shit. Hey, you might need a bumper. You might need a bumper. 15, 20, 20 17 kid. <laughs> driving. Uh, what else you said? Sorry, Send black. Me something down. Send me some else. Well, just, hey, man, Do you got an article for the food stamps or the fries? Which was that article? I got one for both of them. I got one for both of them. Okay, well, you got the article ready for the food stamps? Yeah, the uh, yeah, the, the bodega coverage. That you want to play the video first, and we tell you what happened. I'll play the video first. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, we'll play the video. So he pushed the dude. Is it just oh. music in the background? They got no words. Yeah. Are there words coming so up? It, this, so this is the this is a video camera. So then you can see him standing over the old head, right? Yeah. The old the old head that then somebody standing the counter, confront him. I mean, tell him, hey man, you don't leave him alone, whatever, whatever. He stand on top of the old head and watch the old head. Old head about to put a jail move on. Him. Well, nigga, don't tell me. Let me watch it. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought you seen it. Nah. See, I'll go with him. Watch this shit. Look at that. Oh, shit. He stabbed the shit out of his neck. He stabbed his neck. He, went, he, put the, he pulled a jail move on him. Went, pulled it, went, got a knife. He stabbed him. Oh, he must have had that shit in his pocket the whole time. No, he walked. It said it say he walked over, got it, and stabbed him. Oh, I'm just going off him sitting down. But he was sitting down. Then he got up, walked over. You see, he reached out and then came back when it's jabbed him. Damn. Oh, that's a butcher. Is that a butcher knife? Well, so apparently after 
Oh, but the video over? I'll I tell you, I'll tell you, explain what happened. Video, video. Okay, so what happened was, so old girl, so the dude in the white shirt, his girl came into the little bodega to buy some shit, buy some chips. She, they ran her card and the card didn't go through. Like most she didn't have enough money to get the chips. <laughs> they said yeah, it was an EBT know, card. how sad your life got to be when you run your car to car. Oh, so this bitch go outside. Chips. So she went outside, got her dude. This motherfucker come back in, go around the back of the counter to confront him about her not having enough money on her card for his girl to get no chips. First off, nigga, you got a mirror shirt on. I don't know if you know what that is, but that's about what a, is that? It's about a well, the shirt, that shirt, if it's real, it's probably about three hundred dollars. Are you said for a t-shirt? Yeah, the jeans run about twelve hundred. What the fuck went three hundred dollar t-shirt? Well, now nah, I ain't wearing no three hundred dollar t-shirt. What, it, what does it do for three hundred dollars? Get you bitches, I guess. If you get a hole in it, do you get a new one? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't want to stay with you niggas. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas don't you niggas don't invest no more. <laughs> I'm just saying you get a three hundred dollar t shirt. Yeah, if, if I'm not mistaken, that's that's about a three hundred dollar t shirt. You said if it's real. Yeah, jeans is twelve hundred. Uh you can get, I, if you want to pay, I can get you probably pay a cheap one off the website. I, I I never want no three hundred dollar jeans. <laughs> For what? What am I do with them? Yeah, so the research run away. about so you get about oh well, the kids shirt costs about uh 190 and the actual shirts cost about 350. What is it? I mean, what so what does it do for 300 dollars Well, clearly the it soaks up blood if you get stabbed in the neck. I don't know, but that nigga that nigga died. <laughs> Why well, did say it save your life? Died, I said it man. soaks up blood. Died, I'm trying to over. see where he got the knife from, though. Like, where was he it? Started, it? It looked like he reached over. And took the knife. Like if he he didn't have when he got up. I know. Look, I did notice that. And why is her arm look. just dangling right there? Like what is she I trying think to that's do? Somebody else in the store. I don't think that's his girl though. Oh. Because I got it. Well, I got a pic. I don't know if you can see, but in the article it was a picture of a woman. I think that's his girl. Send me the uh send me send me some. Well, I think I, I can share my screen, can I? Oh yeah, share, yeah, share your screen. But let, let, me, let me see. Hold on. He oh, it was over here somewhere. It was over by the condoms, I think. By the condoms, man. What are you talking about? I think those are condoms right there. No, that's chapstick. Man, man you know, I don't fuck with people. people. I don't fuck with people in no bodega. Hey, man, I'm over. Hey, they do what they gotta do, but let me see what I mean. Uh, oh, they got. Oh, I, I actually didn't even know I had this video. I said the video shows the argument that led to. Oh, the, send uh, me that. Shooting. God damn it, nigga. Now you talk about me. You want to share the screen? Can I do, just do a share screen? Yeah, just go to share the screen. Oh, yeah. One hour later. Two hours later, three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Uh, you see it now? Yeah, uh, blow it up. Uh, yeah, right there. Yeah, so apparently he was he was in the joint. He ran the card. He swiped the joint. <laughs> like, no, nah, I'm not going through. He asked for pin number. She's like, I want my fucking chips. He was like, no, nah, they go. He put your pin number in, baby. She put your pin number in. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, can't take it. He was like, he said, nah, I ain't go through. He declined your card. And he was like, hey, we declined your card. I don't know what to tell you. She was like, I need these fucking chips and this swisher. And then he tried to tell her, like, the receipt said, ain't go through, baby. What you want me to do? It ain't go through. I guess I don't, like, I don't know what to tell you. I tried again. I could run it. Let me see. What the fuck are you talking about, man? What's your pin number? Let me put it in for you. <laughs> Stick it door. Hey, I, I was like, what is he doing? Like, oh, I see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is he talking about? I don't know, nigga. I, ain't, no, ain't no sound with shit. Let me put it. Nah, they I will, you know, I Sorry, will man. say, this is the first look, time I've seen one of good cameras. Look, look, at me, look at how he's shrugging. He's shrugging like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I, it ain't going through. You I, I don't actually know. give you the fucking chips? Let your card. He was like, I, you know, he, let me swipe it again. Then she, nah, it ain't go through. Let me swipe it again. Nah, it ain't going through. Then she take the card. Like, then she take the card. She walk off. Then the other dude come in. He get his Light little, get his, he get a little lottery ticket. Let me get two swishes. Let me get two swishes. Then we get two. Oh, look at <laughs> Nigga buy Lucy's. <laughs> That's actually illegal. That's actually illegal. I know he said loose cigarette. Let me get two cigarettes, man. Let me get two uh, Marlboro. Other dude come through. Look, he's, look. <laughs> he's on the slim jibs and shit. He thought what he regular do. I can't believe this motherfucker said 
Then you know they killed Eric Garner for that. You know that, right? It's, Ill- it's illegal. It's not the same shit Eric Garner got killed for. This motherfucker sell him in a bodega. Okay, let me see. The way. Here he come. Here come dude. He coming around to the back. Like, hey, man. My girl wanted to chill. He showed the receipt. Like, hey, man, it, it didn't go through. I mean, you receipt, sir. What you mean it won't work, my nigga? Yeah. You know what I mean? I, you know what I mean? My man, see that girl right there? I think, is that his girl? That Look, that's right. his girl right there. Nigga, you, nigga, you. Oh, holy shit. You fighting over her, nigga? You went to jail over this. You got killed over you this. Got my man, Harley was a cop in the store just now. Nah, I feel like... They go to bro. It was a cop just there. You see him? Walk by him? No, she dead. No, 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 no. I think dude dead. No, I think she, the cop came in after she, cause she crying and pointing and shit. Oh, oh, oh. Play it back a real bit. Let me see my man. Oh, the Kenny Bridge. Oh, shit, nigga. Yeah, she, yeah. I think that nigga look. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. After. Stop out. Stop out. Hold up. Uh, right after he walk, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, the sound right there. Okay. Actually, play it back from the beginning then, since it got sound. I think the sound is playing through my speaker, though. That's fine. Hey, ringing up. Oh, you can fast forward till you get to the part. We ain't going to watch this here. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, you know what it is, though? What? It's an EBT card. Yeah. You can buy chips with EBT card. I don't know, because she said, did you put food? Hard work, so swipe it every time. I know my phone is a camera working or working. It's still working now. Swipe the shit again. I mean, it don't matter how many times you swipe it to clean it. it you, it don't work. Oh, you have to. I think you have. I think you. Oh, you have to. Call him a piece of shit because your shit don't work. Shit, my boyfriend gonna hit fuck you up. Cause my EBT guy got enough you get no chips. That's not my fault. You're not working. That's not my fault. You're not working. Yeah, he said it don't work. Can I get my free? <laughs> he said you want it for free. <laughs> you know, I like this nigga smooth. He argue with the chicken and, and that, haven't missed a step to get that paper. Oh, no, they are okay, all right, pause it. Okay, that, okay, I, that's what I thought happened. Died over this, bro. Let me see. see so, I'm assuming what's blurry right here is that the dude is dead. Yeah, that's a, that's, yeah she, she shagged him. Okay, I just so you him. telling me. That business goes on as usual. What are they gonna bleed now? <laughs> you know, yo, New York is wild, bro. They're don't only in New hey, York where they can get shaked in money, a bro. bodega. They act this dude right here with a broken yeah. arm. Don't let Still nobody fuck shit. up. You don't let nobody fuck up your money. <laughs> with these streets, Nick. Don't fuck up my money. New York, where you're gonna stab a nigga and business goes on as you he, he laid the fuck out bleeding and she's screaming, she's like, screaming. and the dude smiling, the dude, the dude with the broken arm. He's like, Yeah, let me get two. Let me get two. <laughs> <laughs> two Lucy's here play. Everybody just walking through the bitch like the police oh police. Okay, so police finally come and shut down operation. They ain't got no ambulance or nothing. They just this motherfucker got an Arizona tea on the counter. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Look, they're still a deal with this like shopping. They're still, police ain't, police ain't put no yellow tape. Only in New York. York. Only the in Mac New York. Jesus Christ. The man can't get these squares now, bro. <laughs> they gotta get these ships. <laughs> yeah. They just kept going. Like, <laughs> hey, it's not. All right, let me go ahead and get them there. Damn. Damn. <laughs> That's what it is, man. So, what ended up happening to the dude? I mean, well, he died, but 
What other guy? He got arrested for what? He got arrested for uh, what was it? not murder? Was it murder? He got arrested for uh, he got arrested for what was the charge? Uh, you ain't read the shit. I did read it. <laughs> uh, yeah, they got him for attack. Yeah. Oh, because but then the girl attacked him afterwards. So he, you know, after he stabbed him, old boy attacked him. Then he got he got uh, arrested for manslaughter. But I was defending myself. No, so what well, that's what I'm saying. So they're getting on the the prosecutor about the same shit. <laughs> I need to play these numbers. Play the motherfucking numbers. <laughs> you supposed to. No, nah, but I don't say how do I get arrested? This nigga, like I'm clearly old. Like, dude is a uh, um he looked like Middle Eastern. Dude came behind the counter. Yeah, he was Hispanic. Well, okay. He's I thought he was Middle Eastern, but they, okay. They, they, they're the same thing. I know, I'm just saying, okay. And middle, typically in New York, in those bodegas, the middle east they uh middle easterns. Hold on. So what, what did you cover the fuck out of? What are you no, doing? the joint out of focus. Nigga, just why do you gotta have to cover everything? I, I, oh, Jesus. What, what are you doing? You distracted me with this shit. You don't. What are you doing? <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, so you, so I'm your girlfriend calls you to whoop my ass. I'm like, all right, yeah. whatever. You come behind the counter, fight me, and I'm defending myself. I stab you, and I go to jail. You think that you think that they can't handle where to stay? Like, what, what will make you do that? So, uh, Max said, these, Max said like he heard the judge lowered the bail due to outcry about self defense, which was self defense. Yeah, it was. I mean, oh, give me a minute. Uh, just keep talking. Um, just keep talking. To, who am I talking to? Talking to me, nigga. Just, oh, you said please. keep talking. Why don't you just shut up? This nigga left me by myself. I didn't leave you. Nigga. What are you doing? Nigga, do you have did somebody leave you in your life? Yes. I have abandonment issues. <laughs> you abandoned me. You believe me, Bob? I said, you don't say you just leave this shit. No, I'm trying to fix my camera. It's out of focus. It looks fine. Not on the YouTube. It ain't going to make you pretty, nigga. Just oh, my God, nigga. It looks fine. Just, just continue with the story. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Hold on. Let me just mute your mic. Jesus Christ. I can't unmute this motherfucker. Can, can you come back on the screen, nigga? <laughs> can you come back on the screen? Can you do that? It'll blur. <laughs> Wait, your camera you off. Was your camera dirty? There you go. Finally. I'm sorry. Go, go sorry to the people early. watching. I apologize. Don't apologize for what? Anyway, so uh, like I said, he said, um, uh, Max said that the judge lowered the bail due to outcry about self defense. So yeah. did they say how much the bail was? I think it was like two fifty, and they lowered it to. Was well, now you got me? Now I got to reread the shit. No, you don't. No, 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 no. You don't have to reread it. So you said two fifty. So I'm assuming, but you don't have to pay twenty percent, right? Or is it ten percent? Something like that. Oh, ten percent. Oh, I ain't never been locked up. So I don't know. Oh. Anyway, oh. Well, that, I did it one time, but you know. That's the, uh, talk about that later. Anyway. Nah, but I don't think he. Honestly, I don't think he should have went to jail at all. Like the nigga literally tried to fight me for no reason. Just because this bitch reason? didn't have what you, what, two dollars for a bag of chips. But what do you think made her put herself in a position where she was fighting there? I mean, why would he go in there and fight somebody over some chips, basically? Let me tell you something. Pussy would make you do some shit. I never had, I've never had that pussy. If somebody got that kind of pussy, I don't want it. Well, her pussy didn't look that good. <laughs> if that's that's who the chick he stabbed. You know. But it's wild to me that. I'm defending myself, and I still go to jail. And well, I like I said, I don't know how New York laws work. Um, New York laws fucked but up. That's I mean. honestly that's that's due for you over there coming in for a bag. Like you didn't have you have a three hundred fifty dollar t shirt on, but you ain't got two dollars in your pocket. There's something wrong with that. The why did why did that dude went straight for the neck though? Well, that motherfucker went straight for the kill shot though. Well, he ain't hesitate. He so, I, I look He's like shaking. he went. He went wherever he could. Like no, he, he went up high though, bro. I know, but if you look he went at it, right for the neck. So they, so they tussling. So he, I wonder if he stabbed him because they tussling right here. Yeah, but look when you look look at the first shot he took, he went right to the neck. Like, a, like I don't know. Up. Well, oh, that no, motherfucker might be a serial killer. So what? Look, look at the way he took the shot though. 
Oh, look. no, if you look, oh, no, 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 I know. Oh, he, he went, he went it low. It looked like he went low. Yeah, it looked like he tried to go low. I bet they will hook me to jail before. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that's that. <laughs> He went there. That's that. That's that. <laughs> it had quick as shit, too. That motherfucker with low high. Yeah, I ain't trying to be racist, but you know the Mexicans. They, you know, they, they, they don't they, play, man. They don't play that shit. They stay with a box cut. Oh, they know they stay. They stay with a blade. <laughs> they stay with a blade on them. <laughs> he think they ain't got a blade on them. They stay, but nah, I mean, I, it's pretty, I would say it's unfortunate, but I mean, you know, you, you know, bro. I mean, look, stop doing shit. You know. Look, but here's the thing about shit like that. Like, even so that, like, down here in D.C., you know, people talk about shit like why, you know, why they don't put certain shit in certain neighborhoods. Like, if you got a motherfucker with an EBT card arguing about a bag of chips, I mean, how do you think people act? Like, in D.C., like, there's a, they, no, they put, like, a Wawa up on 14th Street, right? Wawa. Pretty, oh, yeah, by Columbia Heights. Yeah, pretty decent neighborhood. You know they closed this shit down? Already? They closed that motherfucker down because people kept, Running, doing them, what they call them shit when they run in and like grab a bunch of shit and all. But that. they do that anyway, though. Yeah, but I'm just saying, people, people want shit in their neighborhood. Then somebody put it there. Then these motherfuckers start doing that. They like fucking it. It costs too much to stay there. You try they had, fuck. they had got the um. It's called down Metro Center between Metro Center and Gallery Place. They call City 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 Center. Uh -huh. They got Gucci, Louis, you name the designer brand. They got it. You know they was running and grabbing the shit and dipping out. Yeah, but does that mean they're gonna shut down over there? No, they might. Well, yeah, I saw one time it was like some trunk. I want to say some transvestites. I can't. I don't know what the fuck they call them. At least you, you at least you they, use the correct word correctly. They did some shit when they sat out. Like somebody sat outside in the SUV, and the motherfuckers ran in and grabbed a bunch of shit. Oh well, yeah, I used to work at uh Bloomingdale's security, <laughs> and it was what was your joint by Tyson's Corner. That so they drove the car drove up. They dropped them off. Drove around. The men's store, the men's uh department was right there. So they grabbed in, grabbed G Star. If you know how much G Star jeans are, they're like a hundred no, plus. I, I don't know what they call. Uh, that's why I'm here. I buy Levi's, nigga. I'm old. Nigga, <laughs> Levi's like $50. I mean, nigga, that's not expensive. Nigga, you talking about two, three hundred dollars jeans. I mean about regular shit. But this is an investment though. How's it invest some jeans, nigga? Yeah. How's it three hundred dollars jeans investment? What are you investing in? Nigga, my flyness, nigga. God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so they ran in, grabbed the shit, and ran out. And like, I mean, that's always a thing. Like shutting down a whole, shut down Wild Wild, which they had some good donuts. Though. They donuts are bomb. You ever you had a donut? Donuts, nigga. Really? Well, what you stealing out of a Wild Wild? It's all like, nigga, you, you got press a bag of chips. That's what niggas do. They just grab shit and run. Like it's what the say look the, the, a big, a big bitches nigga just got killed over bag of chips. Nigga. No, mean, he he got over protecting his bitch. That's why he got killed. Nah, yeah. but he but it was over some chips. Like, why would you even put your man in that kind of danger over some chips? I wish my bitch would tell me you need to go in the hell, nigga. He won't let me buy a bad bag of chips. Bitch, you ain't got two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's the, the, the dog without the chips. That's all what's today, today the tenth. You ran out of all your money in 10 days? <laughs> Nigga, did you sell your shit? She could have done without them chips. She'd have been fine without them chips. It wasn't did you kill sell her. your chips? You sold all your food stand money. Anyway, I, well, do, I, do. I, fucking chips. I do hope justice for uh, uh, Hector. Oh, it was Jose something. Is it Jose? I don't know. I think it's Jose something. Or I think it's either Hector or Jose. It was uh, Jose something. Yeah, Jose Alba. Close enough. I was close. Yeah, over the album. Good people, man. Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, here, retired Afghan assassin, <laughs> stole his cover for trouble shit. found. <laughs> that's funny. I like, that's how he shakes though. Nigga. He was way too precise. Nigga. <laughs> nigga, Steve, Steve is the goal was writing the script. That was two shots. He was that dude. Steve is the goal writing that script shit. right now. There was a uh, guy who did an expose on Steve Seagal. Oh Lord. Uh, basically, he said Steve Gall got in the position of those movies at the very beginning mm -hmm. because of the Hollywood representation he got. It was like some mob ties, wasn't it? Yeah, he had like some serious yeah. mob ties. I heard that. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, that, that, makes sense. Fattest, that is the fattest vegetarian I've ever seen in my life. Well, he's like a vegetarian slash 
What? Uh, Dude, he take does, it dirty. Uh, it's something else he does. Uh, what? Damn, he's a vet. He's a um. Uh, what's that boot? It's like not a Buddhist, but it's supposed to be something. I think he is a Buddhist or something. A Buddhist, yeah, he a Buddhist. What did I do with what he eats? Because I didn't think they could eat certain things. That nigga eat everything. And what's up with that nigga mustache? Uh, uh, that goatee. Dude, that, 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 <laughs> I think that, I think that motherfucker glue it off. That shit look disgusting. <laughs> he don't look right He's a burger terrier. Oh, all black and shit around here. That nigga like 80, ain't he? That nigga like 80 almost. Uh, is he? He got that little, he got that the little, the little Buddha mustache and shit with the not Buddha. What do they call that shit? The Fu Manchu joint. <laughs> it's all it's still black as shit. Nah, he's seventy. Is he seventy? Yeah, that's he's the saddest best thing I've ever seen in my life. Nigga, I ain't bullshit. That nigga eat everything on the menu except for thank you, please. But it's Come funny. Here. He had to lose weight for exit wound because it was like, man, these strings too heavy, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do something. <laughs> these strings too heavy. Because. Uh, all right, we got one more video up. The fries, you remember that one? Yeah, the fries joint. You hear about that? No, nah, we'll watch the video first and we'll tell you what happened. Uh, we can go with the same. Is it audio? I don't know, nigga. I don't know. I think so. Uh, let's see. Fries, you want me to read it? Read what happened first? You want to look at the video? Uh, yeah, go ahead and read it. Wait a minute. Okay, right. so let's go ahead and read it because it's a place called Bell Fries in New York. Oh, uh, yeah, Apparently. we go. God damn, another. You know what? Let's get all our videos from New York going forward. <laughs> so, Go so, basically, so, basically, what happened is shortly after 4 a.m., the girls went in there to get some fries and uh, the, they wanted extra sauce. And the owner told them a dollar, it was a dollar 25 extra sauce, and they weren't having it. And that's the crux of the story. They didn't want to pay the extra dollar 25 for extra sauce, so they decided they're just going to do what they do. In this video jesus christ all right um hit play i'm here calm down nigga. the first you see the business back twerking wait see my twerking you see the oh, my back god. twerking oh my god oh my god oh my god she was twer- did she was is it when it first started she was running the table right there what on the left hand side of the Oh, is this fries, really necessary? They tell a whole store some fries. Look at this shit. This bitch jump over the counter. And they know they're being videotaped. What the fuck? Nigga, oh, that are wasn't, you serious? It wasn't, it wasn't even over the fries. It was for it was over the dollar twenty-five for extra N- sauce. And there gotta be more to this story. Did it did nigga. the nigga be like, I, I want to fuck in the back? Nigga, <laughs> nigga, I get, look nigga. at this shit. Then I'm not gonna believe this over $1.25 some fries. These, y'all queens. these are y'all queens out there. <laughs> All right, Tommy Soda my <laughs> Look at Most these black guys, bitches. Look at I these didn't black- say that. I think one of them like Puerto Rican or something. Yeah, I don't know. This is not I hold on, Bell Fry. I'm not gonna believe this over some fry, raggedy it's ass over, fry. It's over dollar twenty-five for some fries. Right? I mean for some no, it's for sauce. It's not for fries, it's for the sauce. So they left $25,000 $25, in damages, terrified staff. And all. She had bad 20, just as bad. There were more than 20 people who no, celebrated the mayhem. It did nothing store. to stop it. These y'all queens right here. I'm thinking I I need a bouncer and protective lab across the counter so no one could get through. Over oh, this, this is wild. Look at this. Over, over. They got to be, they drunk. They, I mean, they might be drunk. I ain't never been this drunk in my life, though. Man, I sober up when shit's about to pop off. And, and then all the dudes, everybody just sitting back watching. And these bitches, they just tearing up stores. They got, oh, God, they got a distressed white woman in the background. Which, but I'm uh, looking at the picture. This is why we, this is why. Oh, oh they got oh, locked oh. up, though. Wait a minute, they got locked up, though. Yeah, but this this is why we can't why have. Why didn't you mention that? <laughs> Say what? They got locked up. Why didn't you mention that? Why did, well, are we still looking at the video? Calm yourself down. Tell, continue with the we're story. No, nah, but just saying this. This is what happened. I said. I said. Told you what happened. I said they did what we watched in the video. Okay. Now tell. Tell, tell, tell I got locked up. Say what? They, they, all right. Go ahead with the story. They got locked up. Did you finish? Is the video on? Yeah, nigga. Okay. Yeah. Go play it back though. I want to see that bitch twerking. <laughs> it's at the very beginning. So, so they got. They got 20, 30 bottles broken. The only day employees, computers. Oh, she is for Oh, you raggedy, nasty bitch. The store was a disaster. Everything was a mess. 
They ripped down the pandemic right. plastic barrier, bolted to the counter. They oh, wait, wait a minute. That, that plastic ain't saving, ain't stopping no well, pandemic. Not the little, you know, the little COVID screen and shit like that. Oh, well, it looked like the friend did try to stop her. Yeah, she did, but then she participated. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, right. So she's like, saw you can't him. beat him, join him. The bitch, look, she's trying to pull it down, and then she's like, "Fuck it." She, <laughs> she went back stop. We all Oh my god! It said the three women. It was it was uh, Shatar, Pla- Placencia, Tatiana Johnson. God damn it, another fucking Johnson, and Pearl Azoria. They got arrested in the face of multiple charges, including assault. And, and, and look at this shit, though. Well, I guess they didn't want to go on the register, so they were like, "Okay, that's enough." <laughs> but, would you, but why would you tear up a whole store over dollar twenty-five? Yeah, they, did, they, yeah, did they even take sauce with them? Man, <laughs> they, 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 that did all this ain't get the sauce. That did all this ain't get no sauce. Like, I, don't, I don't understand. I don't the logic that, is this sauce that good? Is anybody from New York? <laughs> Is that sauce that good? Let me let's text my friend. You ever been to Bell Fries? <laughs> Is the sauce good there? This shit though, like they looking at some serious time. Yeah, they did twenty five thousand dollars worth of damage. And I don't think they got five thousand dollars to bond. Nigga, they ain't five thousand. Yeah, so it said that uh, who who allegedly hit an officer while she was being arrested. Did you read that part? I didn't, I didn't see that part. This is why I do what I do and you do. Oh, nigga, you do. nigga, we know what the fuck you do. Don't even start that shit. The room appeared before Judge Jonathan and Manhattan Criminal Court Friday for assault charges. Assistant District Attorney Kelly requested grand jury proceedings for, oh, God, uh, and Johnson, some girl named Placenia and Johnson, and the two are due back in court next month. Ozaria, uh, who alleged hit an officer while she was being arrested, was held on bail of 5000 cash or a $25,000 bond. So, uh, please, okay, I'm just going uh, go forward. Just send me the articles. Thank you. For what? I, you, you read the best part? They hit officers and shit? Well, okay, I didn't, I didn't see all of that. I didn't see they hit officers. My so, bad. Uh, so, uh, police Fox arrived shortly later. after the blitz ended and the blood dripping down her forehead. Beasley helped cops identify the alleged attackers. I never, so it was a white woman that got hurt. This was something that would happen to me. She all said, this, I didn't, well, all that shit go to is one white woman got hurt. Nigga. Why is that? Uh, you guys have got to stop. Why oh, would a motherfucker intervene uh, in that? Always, they always step in the middle and put their hands up. She's like, stop it. Stop. So she said, I don't feel like going to work because as a mother, my priority is getting home to my child. Who said that? The white lady? The white woman, yeah. But did she work there? Or she was just a random white lady in the store trying to break it up. <laughs> Say that shit must have been some mumble sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, this is this is not okay. Like, hey, man. you know, I, you know. Again, I don't like name dropping on this show, but I hate when when shit like this happens. It just makes people narrative correct. Like Tommy Sotomayor. This is just this is shit he looks for. Like. You are helping this nigga narrative. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the fuck are y'all you know. doing? Then this bitch twerking. Y'all didn't get the sauce. Y'all damage. I, I know these hoes ain't no more. Now, these are bitches. These ain't any bras. These oh, these, oh, these, oh, these bitches. Right these there. bitches all day. These bitches. These are bitches Don't do this type of shit. Like, and nigga. And they still didn't get no fraud. Then they went to jail hungry. <laughs> I was fucked. If you do all that shit to go over some fries, then you get locked up. You go to jail. You hungry? Fuck. Eat a bologna sandwich. Hey, then you gotta eat that. What call that shit? Nutri loaf. <laughs> I thought you, you heard about this jail. shit. I thought you ain't been to jail. Nigga, I ain't been to jail. I heard about. I heard about. <laughs> nigga, nigga. Oh, we should play that next week. Uh, so there's what? a dude on YouTube. He be making uh, jail meals. Oh, this dude nigga, be frying up shit. Nah. Well, I sent you the one we with the dude. Home. No. Well. I, on, nigga, been, I saw like a nigga he was making shit. I had like a whole grill in the jail. No, that was actually in jail. We should play that. But it's a dude, he be called is a busting or not. So he be creating shit at his well, he pretends he's in jail, but it's in his room. 
He was like, yo, Bunky, you want a, uh, you want a, I don't know, a grill, no, not a grill, like some, you want a cheesecake? This nigga be putting all this shit. Inmate? Yeah, I think he probably ex inmate. And he'd just be making random shit. It looks horrible, but he'd be like, this shit good. I'm like, nigga. I, I didn't know. Like, shit you need from commissary. Um, But yeah, but back to these hoes. Um, So the boy was 33. And oh, damn, she needed staples in her head after being struck by one of the ta uh, tablet cash register. And she hasn't left her house since the incident. She got hit by a cash register? I didn't see that part. God damn. These bras are brutal. How you hit a bra over the whole cash register? I it's didn't see that's all go behind the counter. I'm trying. Is there volume with it? Let me see if I can hit. See, she tried to see. Look at it. The little twerk girl tried to stop. Let me get her. Don't do that. Don't do that to me. Then she walked in there. She walked you know away. Be, you know what I'd be like if I was a white woman? Look, bitch, I just gave this shit for free. Here, just here. Uh, here, You want three? Look, I pay for it. It went too far, nigga. I mean, where's the white woman at? I don't see it. She recorded it. Oh, did oh, you, did she you work not? There. You, know place, there. you know this place small as shit. Yeah, the white woman worked there. Yeah, but I'm saying the area is small, so yeah. they only sell is fries. Okay, yeah, I know what I'm saying. So, what you see? Okay, so you see the girl in the black. She actually walked away like she wasn't gonna get involved, and then I guess it just got too good to her. She just jumped back in the shit. Uh, I was, I'm gonna hit up my friend. She had oh, been there. She, oh. Yeah, you been. She what, been up to see nobody shit. <laughs> nah, she's they've been to bail fries. Been Man, going in no more. <laughs> and why? Why ain't nobody working there right now? This is fucked up. Uh, Look at that dog. See, them shit's good. I should have a call in. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Damn. Oh, Damn, so. Uh, well, that's pretty much it for this. Oh, shit, these these they too old to be doing this shit. So one was twenty seven. Hmm. One was twenty five. And y'all could wait. Y'all could at least did this on the fourth. Y'all wait to the third. Y'all missed fourth of July. Did <laughs> yeah, you watch the fireworks on the scale block? You no, know, it was twenty three. Why well, wasn't the twenty seven year? I bet the twenty seven year old is the the, the, the one, one that black. Did the, nah, I did the worse. Yeah. <laughs> the oldest, probably the fucking leader. I, I just don't understand, old man. I don't understand it. I ain't never had no fries that good in my life ever. You ain't never had Arby's fries. Arby fries, good as shit, bro. You know what? I'm gonna tell you, was fucked up though. Like when I see Raw's crazy like that, you know, first thing I'd be thinking, they got good pussy. They got some knee back shots. That thing be, oh God. Just one thing. That's, that's why niggas get ghosted right there. <laughs> like, you ghost that bitch is over. Jesus. That bitch come through and be knocking on your door at midnight and shit. And, Slash your ties, all of those shit. Breaking, breaking windshield wiper. You ever had it? You ever been stalked? Uh, no. Damn, oh yes. Damn. Yes. <laughs> Fuck that come from, nigga. So it was this broader man. This how long ago it was? It was on. I think it was MySpace or Black Planet. Oh, nigga, that damn. Well, I learned, so I know shit I can talk no more. And this bitch was crazy. So, you know, last week you mentioned, you know, mental health and everything. Mm. I couldn't help this bitch. Mm. For, for one, I was too young. So I was on the phone with her. And she, I said, so we were talking about something. And she was like, yeah, my father made me mad. So I cut myself. I said, what, bitch? <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, I cut Ooh. myself. Oh, so I either I said, let me call you. So we were still talking about something. So either I hung up the phone. I said, I'm gonna call you. I didn't want to. Let me call you back. Or I was like, or something. I know it was. I was like, let me call you back. This bitch called me back and said, you said you gonna call me back. It's like, oh shit. So I had to get out of this situation. So I just started picking up her phone. This bitch called my house at least twice a day. Oh, that ain't that, ain't that bad. No, no. They don't real stalker. No. Then she already knew what station I was at. 
She never had to go to the station to go catch the to catch the bus. She catch the bus outside her apartment. Uh, this bitch wait for me at the station. I was like, oh shit! Now I gotta walk the long way around, cross the bridge to get there. <laughs> it's all detail too, but the left, just yeah, I've been stopped. Uh, I done had that shit with motherfucker. I had a bro one time. She, you know, like I mean, I ain't really ghost a bro. I ain't ghost. I just stopped calling. Her. Like we had an argument, and That's I told her I was gonna do something for. Her. So what? That's ghosting. No, no, no. We had an argument, so I told her I was gonna do a favor. So I did the favor for her. But when I talked to her before, I was like, I'm only doing it because I said I'm going to do it. But once I do it, I'm done. So I did a favor for her. Knock that out. So then I ain't, so then I ain't talked to her. Then she called me like once or twice. But I ain't answered the phone. I had about one in the morning one time. I heard this. What the fuck? I was knock on the door. I was like, nigga, I got about the bed. Look around. I'm like, who the fuck knocking on my door? I ain't answered the door, right? About 10 minutes later, I got a text. I'm talking about, you sorry, motherfucker. You probably really <laughs> fucking the dude. It was like all this. Right. All this. She said, what? She said, something like, you sorry, motherfucker. You probably over there fucking the oh, dude. Man. It was like all this, all this goofy shit. I was like, this bitch crazy. But then I called her, right? Then I called her. Of course, she was drunk. Then she would then she started hitting with the how was the how come you ain't called me back and that uh, I really liked you. She started all that shit. Then we had a conversation, it was cool. But <laughs> we fucked. No, 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 no. I never I never hit that again, man. Oh. Then I had this one other chick that she just she waited for me outside my house one time. She like kept waiting, she was trying to catch me and shit. I I would see her like when she would show up, I was serious, I wouldn't leave out the house. And then one time she like hit around the corner and shit. I came out the door one time. She jumped. She jump on me. She pulled up in her car like jump. Up, pulled up and shit. I just wonder why come you don't call me. You don't answer my call. I was done with you. Oh. Okay. What well, right. well, so what we learned. What did we learn? Um throw some bullshit. Uh <laughs> Bell fries must be good as a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I may go out there when I go to New York if they still open. <laughs> and don't fuck with a nigga in a bodega. <sighs> yeah, been to a bodega in New York. Nah. Uh-uh. Nigga, they, I ain't uh, been to New York since I was li- I was young, man. I don't think I've been as an adult. I don't think I've been don't, don't worry about it. There's a guy. Uh, there's a guy. His name is uh. He, he makes uh food. Like mm. it ain't like exotic food. He's mm. famous on TikTok for making like. So if you go to McDonald's, like if you go to McDonald's, like hey, mm. make this for me. I forgot what the dude name is. You he work at McDonald's? It. Nah, you if you can bring any type of food to him, oh, and, and he'll cook it in the back of the bodega. Oh, we'll make man. it the Aki way. Okay, let me just want to pull up real quick. Make uh, Aki. I don't need no. uh yeah, here it go real quick. What the fuck was Aki? What the fuck is that? Well, Aki mean either my brother or friend, but like Ayo Ak, it's like a New York thing. Ayo Ak. Oh, okay. It's kind of like uh and well, I don't know that they say it in New York, but I know in DC when we go to carry outs, like mm-hmm. Mama San. Let me get oh, yeah, up. That's actually yeah. <laughs> Mama San, let me okay oh, before you. <laughs> Let me get extra mumbo sauce. 50 okay, cents. Okay, I'm special for you. I'm going to act like some shit special. It's special for you. <laughs> what, what else you want? I went to one joint. They were like, uh, uh, they had a special. It was, you can get, you can get five-piece chicken, watermelon on the side. Nigga, for what? At a curry was, Yeah, I was like, I'm good. I don't want no watermelon, nigga. I don't. I'm just play this real quick. We can wrap it up. Here we go. You don't need no sound. Oh, maybe oh, you do. Let me see if you can hear it. Can you hear it? Yeah. Oh, sure. oh I think I've seen this. Put the bacon on the ground. Then put the bacon on the ground. Then you put the mozzarella sticks on the fry. Then you put the beef patty on the microwave. Hey, cook now. We season it up. Once it's nice and seasoned, now we head in with the barbecue. Them motherfuckers with real meat, nigga. Barbecue sauce, now we head in with the barbecue sauce. Now we head in with the barbecue sauce. Now we head in with the barbecue sauce. Now we head in with the
<laughs> look at us. This is gonna be the burgers don't look right. After we put everything together, now we put the spinach, the tomatoes. Show. Once the everything's fuck? ready, now we put it on top of the paper. The fuck? What if we got a beef patty burger? Now it's the hockey way. Ah, uh, nigga. Nah, That's we the it might be good, but I'm not fuck with it. OMG. Can't forget the bath. Since I got it all, since it was actually, so let me play the other joint for you real quick. What other, do I need to watch the other joint? This shit, that shit only look right. I only look right, man. Uh, oh, I got to take it like, I know we about to wrap up, but I got to take a brief intermission real quick. Hold on. Oh, nigga, what are you doing? You going to wrap up? You going to wrap up before we take an intermission? This Get over there, arguing. I told you, take your birth control. Take it. The, the birth control pill in the cabinet. Up, no, not the birth control. Yes, no. I told you in the bathroom, first top cabinet. Right, exactly. Right over there. Get, I'm saying, what you dirty? What are you talking about? You doing your face? What's the thing we talking? In the washing machine. Why well, left them condoms? Right over it. Uh, I want I was trying to see if we could just order some bail fries. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh I wasn't saying anything. Prison food. What the fuck are we talking about? All right, here we go. I would just play you know, house prison nigga. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get out the way. We ain't gotta wait till next week. Uh, then I'm gonna wrap the show up. Damn hey, shit. I gotta put uh I gotta Look put YouTube. commercials, man. We... I know I didn't because it's on my other account. All right, here we go. All right. All right. Laffy taffy. Hold on. Oh, let me tell you what you're making. It's a laffy taffy. It's right there. Oh, it's I didn't know that. Laffy taffy. All right, homie, let's do it. All right. You think they making taffy in jail? They got coffee cream. What the fuck is that? Kool Aid? They got Kool Aid in jail? You get a shit ton of stuff from commissary. Water? Nigga, they got Kool Aid in jail, nigga? Stir away. What the fuck? Coffee creamer. You can make. Real nice. Nigga, this. Nigga, what? Are they serious? <laughs> You're not serious before. These niggas really make it. They're making taffy. What's this an inmate vending cup? <laughs> He's making tag. This nigga making little bite sized candies and everything. <laughs> that shit can't be good. Perfect. Hey, Bunky, let's make a doo wop. Hey, for sure. Look it up. I ain't what had one of those it? in a minute. They All right, ain't man. waiting for doo wop. The fuck? Look at all them, all this. Maybe that's why, maybe that's why they in jail. All these sweets in jail. You ain't supposed to have all that. <laughs> well, now you get it from commissary. You need some vegetables, nigga. <laughs> you got in jail. You give a fuck about being healthy. <laughs> they wouldn't do so much shit if they was healthy in there. What's this? What the fuck? <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> I'm so disturbed right now. What is that? Shit look disgusting. What is this? What the fuck? Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> it's a doo wop. Bust it. Oh. Hey, Bunky, oh, this man. summertime he killing me, man. Let's make a slushy. Hell yeah, that sound about right. Yeah, <laughs> hey, get, get some slushy. ice from the trustee. Hell yeah, for sure. I got you. All right, cool. The, I'm, the, well, I'm tripping off the food, but how the niggas in jail doing TikToks, nigga? Nah, he not in jail. Oh, that's right, they do. I play next. Are they doing TikToks in jail? Yeah, remember they had the hibachi. The hibachi. Oh well. No, is he doing a TikTok in jail? Nah, that's his apartment. He ain't in jail. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But he probably was. I thought he was in jail doing this shit. Okay. Nah, but the video I showed you previously, they had the hibachi. I got to find that video so we play it next week. I saw a nigga, he was, he was cooking. I saw a dude, he was like cooking shit on the bunk. Yeah, that was in jail. Yeah. Nigga made it slushy. 
You should. Mm. Well, I look like it. We well, must be in the sun. Oh, hey, yeah, we're we'll making cheesecake. Yeah, I think that's the sun. Well, I'm hungry, man. But, that, right, but he, I think he in New York, so you know them in New York apartments look don't look that great. Oh, this is a cheesecake one. Oh, this is crazy. This nigga made a cheesecake. He is incredible. This is bananas. Egg spray, whipping too creamy. I mean, somebody actually asked somebody said my husband is in prison. All we talking about them making a cheesecake. Who said that? Look at the comment on the screen. Oh, like somebody asked him about making the cheese. Oh, my well, husband is in prison. <laughs> this is, why would you do all this if you're at home? Though? Find a cool place under the bunk. No, he, she said my husband is in prison and always talking about, about them making, making a cheesecake. Cheese cheese Can you show how you make one for him? You might be asking yourself, Yo, can you disturbing. actually create high quality? That's disturbing. Anyway, oh shit, hold on. They got jail. They got... All right, well. I still don't want to go to jail. I don't give a fuck what they eat in there. <laughs> I, I would hope not. I'm disturbed. I'm too old to go to jail anyway, nigga. Out of here fighting. All right, well, a good show. Uh, all right. So what we learned? We learned how to make cheesecake. We did that, we did that already. <laughs> well, I learned some new shit. We learned how to make I, didn't, I don't. I don't want to know how to make cheesecake like this. Is <laughs> I want cheesecake. I go to the store and I get a cheesecake. Cheesecake factory, all that stuff. <laughs> this will never happen. I, I ain't gonna play, but there was a guy who got out of prison. Uh -huh. And I guess he spent 33 years. Mm -hmm. So the guy, I guess he has a YouTube channel. He was in prison. He started showing how to make, he brought him on the show to make a pizza. How they make it in. And it was like, yeah, you're going to have to call to get this. You're going to have to go get, you're going to have to pay like $5 for bell pepper. <laughs> what? Well, you know. In jail, you're talking about? Yeah. yeah. Oh, because you, you bell can't pepper buy, in jail? Yeah, but you got to get it from the people in the kitchen. You can't buy the commissary. Oh, man, this thing is too much. Yeah, it's a lot. Jesus, it's crazy. All right, well, um, as I pull up uh, where you can find us at, um, you, find you, know, who at? you can uh, your final thoughts. I don't already have any at this point. I'm, I'm disturbed now. I got jail food and you know, got people fighting over fried jail food. Uh, okay, I, I, right, I got well, nothing today. Okay, well, you can find us on uh, Twitter at the Serbian Film Club. Instagram, the Serbian Film Club, uh, Facebook, the Serbian Film Club page, and TikTok, which I we mostly post all our little clips on, the Serbian Film Club podcast. Uh, you can find me on my Instagram at sparkling. That's S P A R K L I N wine poppy. Well, because there's no G at the end of I N G. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. And wow, then you wow. can uh, find him at your boy Charlie H. And Instagram and on and on Facebook too. I think. Or some okay. shit. Like I don't know. Like, I can't remember. It's too much. All right. Well, I don't have an outro, so I'm just gonna hit in. Why don't you have an outro? You got we gotta get some music or some shit next week. So we we're not playing that country shit. I know Let's that fade out. They got like nigga, country music is relaxing, nigga. I don't give a fuck what you say it is. Country music is relaxing as a motherfucker. You think you don't understand? That's because you're young. G give me give, give me at least two country songs I should listen to. You should listen to. Yeah, I mean, like, what you want, like some like regular country? I told you, like the one song, but um, it's like a, it was, what was the rap I asked you about with Lil Durk? Yeah, Lil Durk. It was like Lil Durk and the other dude was a. Country, He's not country, a country nigga. Country. Nigga, pay no, 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 it was a listen, nigga, listen. It was a country singer did a song with Lil Durk. Wait a minute, I don't believe that. Hold on. I, just I told you the other day. Remember I texted yeah. you and asked you about it? No, you didn't. You texted me and said something about Lil Dirk said broad no, or something. No, I didn't, mate. You I did not. You're not going to put up the fucking text. Pull it up then. That's not what I asked you. I asked you. Oh, you know, Broadway Girls. Yeah, that's actually. Wait, I, is he a country I, singer? Morgan Weller? Yeah. Oh. I, told you, I heard his song. I, asked, I said, do you know who Lil Dirk is? He's like, yeah. I just read the text. Oh, how you just read it, nigga? It was like four days, four days ago. So the only country song I recognize... <laughs> Is this one? <laughs> and on that note, uh, like, subscribe, follow, uh, and uh, until next week. See y'all later. Yo.